بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد اللهم إني أعوذ بك أن أشرك بك وأنا أعلم واستغفرك لمن أعلم We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for guidance. We seek refuge in Him from our evil and wicked sins. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us with sincerity in what we do in this religion. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us from all of our sins and shortcomings and help us to come back to Him because we need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need His favor, we need His forgiveness. Whenever we strive to do something, we can only have success with Allah. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can rectify our condition in our, our affairs. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And our success lies in following the Quran and the Sunnah, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us about those people who will be destroyed. Alayhi salatu wa salam. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Taraktum ala mithla bayda Laylaha kan nahariha La yuzig anha illa halik The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, I left you on what is what is clear you know what is what is clear and clear and white and light. Its night is like its day, and no one will go astray except that they will be destroyed. So the one who departs from that, from the Quran and the Sunnah, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which is the guidance, the source of guidance, they'll be destroyed. No matter what you see temporarily in this life, you see some of our brothers and sisters, MashaAllah, they build a new masjid. And then we find out the masjid was built from interest, from riba. Some of our brothers and sisters purchase new this. Or you see a brother or a sister being successful and it becomes well known or they don't have any shame about taking riba interest in order to get that or to finish their degrees by taking loans which are impermissible saying that it's a necessity where are they going to be in the sight of Allah how much of the sunnah of the message of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam did they follow to get to that point wasn't the sunnah clear for them? There won't be any success in disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And until we return back to the Quran and the sunnah, we won't have that success. And we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us with success in this life as well as the hereafter. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adhaab al And may Allah bless us with tawfiq and bless us to be on the sunnah of the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and to follow his guidance and stay away from the disobedient ways and paths and means that will take us away from kitab Allah and away from the sunnah of the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and away from the sabeel al-mu'mineen وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم